Hi, and welcome to Aiken Adventures. Today we're taking you to Gatorland. Gatorland is known as the gator capital of the world because there are more than 2,000 alligators located on this property. That's more alligators than there are people in the town where I grew up. <laughs> Today for Gatorland, we purchased our tickets by purchasing the Go City Orlando Explorer Pass, and we chose a two attraction combination but they have combos available for two, three, four, or five attraction combos. And we have placed the link in the description below. And if you're just now joining us on Aiken Adventures, we're taking you to do all the best things and all the best places all around Florida. If you like that kind of content, then you wanna like, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications for more of our adventures around Florida. We're here a little early, so we gotta stand in line. Yeah, they're not even open yet, but we only have a few more minutes. We can do it. All right, absolutely. We're getting ready to go in. We've seen so many alligators since we've been in Florida, but there's something kind of cool about this place because there are like so many of them, which I mean, you'd sort of expect that, but I don't know, it's just, it was crazy. And they're all laying on top of each other. on each other. Yeah. They all lay really still, don't they? They don't move a whole lot. You gotta watch them a long time to see one move. For a little extra money, you can pay for what they're calling uh, gator fishing. And so they give you some fish, you put it on a pole, and then uh, drop it down into the gator enclosure. And I guess it's called the Junior Jumper Roof Feeding Experience, so I'm guessing they jump for it, but uh, mostly I think they just kind of like raise their heads, gobble up the fish. Right behind me, I think are the largest ones I've ever seen. These are ginormous. Yeah, I'd be pretty terrified if I saw that guy just randomly in my yard. I don't know about that. He looks like a dinosaur. He's so big. So the guy that works here was saying that Gatorland is kind of like the retirement home for alligators. So a lot of these gators have been mistreated out in the wild and they bring them here to live happy lives for the rest of their lives <laughs> here at Gatorland. And they're fed really well and they're taken care of and they're super happy in their retirement habitat. That guy was holding a snake. I think that's so fascinating. I love snakes. I mean, I don't want to see them out in the wild, but I don't mind seeing them up close. It's an alligator. I think a little one. Yeah. When that size can break, break stuff like that. This little guy's name is AJ. AJ's about like a year and a half to two years old at this size. Pretty cool, huh? Vivian was pretty fascinated with the guy holding the snake and the little alligator. She liked that part. So I get the bad mom award for the day. I forgot to bring a change of clothes so Vivian could play in the splash pad. 
So thankfully there's no other kids in there right now. So she hasn't really asked, but she's eyeing it. So I feel really bad. So mamas, if you come here with your kids, bring a change of clothes so that they can play in the splash pad. Don't make the same mistake I did. This is the reality of most of our Aiken adventures. Us sitting here while Vivian plays on a playground somewhere. There are a few animal exhibits down toward this way. You can observe some things through glass like panthers. And maybe little baby gators. They have little baby albino alligators. They're so cool. And let's see, there's a python house. They gave us a list of shows when we entered the park and it looks like that they occur um, twice per day. So the first one is the Gator Jumperoo show at 1045. Okay. Oh When we came in, we paid $2 per person uh, to go on the train. We're riding on the train! Yay. So excited! Yay. Baby say yay! Yay! Alright, so I'm just going to get that off and go to the history. But first, England was not always called Heading off to the Up Close Encounters show, but first we're gonna walk across the Breeding Marsh. I'm wondering how often people get bit here at Gatorland. I wish you could really capture how big these things really are. I mean, they're massive. At least several hundred pounds easily. So I'm gonna open this up. As soon as I close eyes closed, you're gonna feel something really creepy and disgusting in your hand, okay? And there you go. You can open your eyes up. Yep, wait, hold on. There we go. Let's give Jordan a round of applause. Whoa. Nice. Whoa. Right, it's in movies all the time. Whoa. <laughs> this is. A snake. It is a snake. It is a cotton mouth, otherwise known as water moccasin. Two names for the one snake. The stuff about that the water, that's right. What do you think they eat? Moccasins. <laughs> really that they will do when they feel threatened is they'll coil up into a ball and open their mouth really wide. The inside of their mouth is bright white. It looks like someone shoved a bunch of cotton balls down it. That's what it is. That's all that you're going to find here in the U.S. Now these guys get that name because that beautiful diamond patterning that it has all over its back. Or the man, they just kind of shake well before you. 
And as you guys can hear, these guys do have a rattle on the end of their tail. There you go. It's a man eating steak, you're ruined, you're fine. There you go. All right, can I tell what they have here? It's a boa constrictor. They're one of the largest species of snake in the world. Some have even reached lengths up to 13 feet long. Now, they are constrictors, which means what they'll do is they'll wrap around their prey, squeeze it really tight, and swallow it whole. We're on our way to the next show, which is called Alligators Legends of the Swamp. But on the way, we're going to check out some more exhibits. We're going down the swamp walk. And there's a warning when you first get on the swamp walk about finding snakes and not actually picking them up. I guess people have done that because they've watched the shows, but these are real life snakes in the wild. So here we go. Petting zoo time. Watch your step. Alright, this one's the Florida cotton mouth. There's some up close eastern diamondback rattlesnake. This one is the Burmese python. It's so big. You see him? They also have a swamp buggy for a little bit extra. We're not doing that one today though because Elena's pregnant, so that is not a good idea. Inside of Gator Joe's, you can find all the gift shop stuff. For a little extra money, you can do the zip line, and it looks like that it stretches all around the park. All right, I had a good time, did you? Yes, I think Gatorland is totally worth the money. I really loved it here. I thought there were a lot of different things you could do. The shows were really good. They gave you a lot of information about the gators. Yeah, I think the shows were my favorite part of the whole thing. They were very entertaining. Like, the people that did them uh, had really good senses of humor, which I think matters when you do shows like this. Yeah, it wasn't just the recitation of lines. They actually yeah. had good comedic timing, so it wasn't too Yeah, it was really corny. nice. I enjoyed the shows. There are a lot of extra amenities here that you can pay for. 
but we only paid for an upgrade to do the train ride, which it was only two dollars per person. I feel like that eh, was whatever. That wasn't yeah. even like my favorite thing. I thought it was nice. Yeah. We got to see some deer and a couple of different animals along the way. And it's nice to kind of relax in the middle of the day and just ride on a train for a little bit. Now, as you probably know, Orlando theme parks are very expensive, but we have a great tip for you. It's a website called Undercover Tourist. On Undercover Tourist, you're going to find great deals on theme park tickets, on car rentals, and even hotel stays in the Orlando area. There is a link in the description below. Hi, this is Anthony and Elena. If you've enjoyed this video, then we invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida.